Amber Heard's insurance company has reportedly filed a lawsuit in federal court against the actress, claiming that they are not liable to pay any part of the $8 million damages owed to her ex-husband Johnny Depp. In a policy written in 2019, New York Marine and General Insurance Company stated it would pay up to $1 million. However, in the suit filed on Friday, July 9th, the company claims that it is not obligated to cover a portion of the damages because the Aquaman actress willfully defamed Johnny Depp. This is because the policy was filed in California, where the law states that an insurer does not need to pay if the policyholder committed willful misconduct. What will be Amber's next move? Let's find out. Amber Heard's insurance company said in its filing that an actual controversy has arisen and now exists between plaintiff, on the one hand, Heard, on the other hand, with regard to the duties and obligations owed between plaintiff and Heard under the policy with respect to indemnity. The jury's factual findings established that Heard's liability is caused by the willful acts of Heard. Last month, Depp won his defamation suit against his ex-wife after the jury found that she defamed him in her 2018 op-ed for The Washington Post. The article discussed her experience as a survivor of domestic abuse, and the jurors found that the contents defamed the pirate star with malice. A few days ago, Amber's legal team filed an appeal that asked Fairfax County Court to set aside the verdict or order a new trial. In the document, attorney Elaine Bredehoft says the damages awarded to Depp are excessive and unsupported by the evidence in law. Elaine also cites issues with the arguments set forward by Depp's legal team and the jury's credibility. That same Friday, Amber's legal team filed further documents, which argued that a fake juror was present for the trial. They say that the juror was not the person summoned to serve on the jury. The individual in question lives at the same address and shares the same last name as the person summoned. However, they were born 25 years apart. Shortly after the verdict was announced in June, Amber said in a statement that she was heartbroken and disappointed with the result and what it means for women. Contrarily, Depp said he was humbled by the verdict and thanked the jury for giving him his life back. At that moment, Amber owes Johnny Depp $8.35 million. Though technically speaking, at this exact moment, she's not obligated to pay him anything. That's because Depp has not yet enforced the judgment. Depp must enforce the judgment to make it official. He could also choose to not enforce it. If and when Johnny Depp enforces is the judgment, Amber will quickly find herself in a very difficult position if she can't afford to cut him a check for $8.35 million. And based on rough estimations, which were basically confirmed by Amber's own legal team, the Justice League star absolutely cannot afford to cut a check for $8.35 million. If Depp enforces the judgment and Amber doesn't pay up, he can start the process of going after her assets and applying to garnish future wages. It's a brutal experience. You almost always see a debtor file for bankruptcy in anticipation of debt enforcement. Unfortunately, bankruptcy may not be an option for Amber because defamation judgments cannot be erased or reduced by bankruptcy if the person was found to have defamed with actual malice. In other words, if it was determined that the person caused the harm intentionally, not accidentally, then the defamed with actual malice and that takes bankruptcy off the table. Most legal opinions I've read believe that Amber was judged to have defamed Depp with actual malice. Where will the actress get all the money to pay Depp? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't get to miss any of them.